Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the features that the sensor mount provides. So right now we're in live mode at the top left of the screen. So you can see uh, we have the vertical force map up here showing basically how much pressure I'm putting into the mound, okay? So this is super valuable because a lot of the times you might have a player that really likes to dig in on the mound. Um, as he's going down the mound, he really likes to stomp when he lands. Um, this is gonna show you basically how much pressure throughout his entire delivery that he's showing as he throws that pitch. Um, you can see even as I'm jumping up and down a little bit right now, the pressure is jumping up and down because on my up jump, there's less pressure that's actually on the mound. And as I push my feet into it, I'm actually gaining pressure more than I actually weigh myself. Okay guys, next we're gonna talk about auto mode. So after talking about live mode, we're gonna come up here to the mound. Um, there's a few things that you wanna do before you do auto mode. You wanna make sure that you create a profile for yourself. Um, so up here we have change player. So we would go to change player and very simply you could just go to new and punch in your information. Easy stuff such as first and last name, height and weight, date of birth. Um, it's super important to check either left or right depending on are you a righty thrower or you're a lefty thrower. If you don't do that correctly, the results might change a little bit. Um, after we create a player, we already have me, so I'm gonna click on my name. I'm gonna go to select, and then I'm gonna go to auto mode that we talked about. So when I go to auto mode, I wanna make sure that I'm up by the mound. I click auto mode. You can see that the vertical force at the top left is pretty stagnant right now as I step on the mound. Now, as I put this down, I wanna simulate like I'm throwing a pitch or throw a pitch if you're throwing a bullpen. I come here. After I was on auto mode, after I created my own profile for myself and I threw a pitch, I'm gonna to go to review mode. So this is the mode where you have all of your pitches stored over and over again. So right here, we have the vertical force up here. You can see as I was standing on top of the mound, I was pretty stagnant my weight pressure into the force was exactly the same as my legs started to come up. We can see it with the video a little bit. My legs beginning to come up. That force is starting to switch over a little bit. I'm, I might be putting a little bit more pressure in. I might be taking some pressure off as my leg comes up. Um, but overall, it still stays pretty much on that line as when I started on. Now, as I'm getting ready to pitch, you can see that that line is taking a hard plummet. Now the reason being is because that pressure that I had on the mound is starting to go away as I'm going down the mound. Now the green line that comes in is the pressure from my front foot when I land. So you can see these two lines crossing right here shows that I still had a little bit of connection to the rubber when my front foot hit the end of the mound. Now as that green line starts to increase, you can tell that I'm putting force into that foot as I'm getting ready to deliver my pitch. If you see up here, the green line really peaks about the same spot that the orange reddish line peaked as well. That's telling me that I'm not putting too much pressure into my landing foot when I deliver a pitch. However, I'm also not barely landing on my front foot and having very little momentum or very little force being transferred from my backside to my front side. As the pitch gets ready to end, you can see that that green line continues to go down due to the fact that my direction is taking me towards home plate and that pressure from my front foot is beginning to lift off of the sensor.